window size to be proud of myself. Just this, and then you got one of the, the ones where you turn the thing, the turn the dot. You, you even got one where you put it on. See, Grudge, you bread tired. Grant, oh, 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 do you got the little things on the side, girl, that keep up? You can't talk about nobody in our projects, this bitch. If you want the project, have the home girl living with flat screen TVs, but they're not going, nice but they're cars, not... and everything else, girl. Bitch, the project rent ain't cheap. If y'all think it is, the project rent ain't cheap, bitch. Some people but, but the they... say $1,000 for rent. But they're not flying across seats to have sexual reassignment surgery either. I mean, go, go ahead and get a flat screen TV. Girl, they all just had EDD, and you think they gave a fuck about having that? Girl, they went to go buy Balenciaga's and all that, girl. Balenciaga's and all that. Girl, they went to go buy Balenciaga's and all that. Girl, they went to go buy Balenciaga's and all that. Girl, they went to go buy Balenciaga's and all that. Girl, they went to go buy Balenciaga's and all that. Girl, they went to go buy Balenciaga's and all that. Girl, they went to go buy Balenciaga's and all that. Girl, they went to go buy Balenciaga's and all that. Girl, they went to go buy Balenciaga's and all that. Girl, they went to go buy Balenciaga's and all that. Girl, they went to go buy Balenciaga's and all that. Girl, they went to go buy Balenciaga's and all that. Girl, they went to go buy Balenciaga's and all that. Girl, they went to go buy Balenciaga's and all that. Girl, they went to go buy Balenciaga's and all that. Girl, they went to go buy Balenciaga's and what kind of, what is it, an insignia girl? What kind of, who, who's the, like you got a fan blowing on you, bitch. No, but, oh, sister, hold on, Mo. You can, girl, I don't play with me, Mo. I'll end your stupid ass out. We not gonna do that. You, hold up, hold up, bitch. What we not gonna do, and look what that's that's a, that was, hold up, bitch. That's a dicey air purifier, Mo. Stop. And look what you, you got. And Stop. look what this bitch got. And y'all talking about what I got? And look at what that hoe got. You know how much that is? Girl, I got one too right here. Let me see. She's right here. Let me see. Baby, she's... <laughs> no, sister, that's not no Dyson. That's not no Dyson. That's that 1999 that shit you get from the bitch that you get from um, Dallas, Dy though. Girl, look at what it looks like. What you mean? Girl. I'm a, uh, no, 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 sister. Uh, I got the help. I got to sit. Look, 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 sister. You know, I, I, we not going to do that, mom. No, we not. The, the, the my air filter costs more than your motherfucking whole whatever that is shit you got from Walgreens. Talk about your personal. I actually, I actually got that from Lowe's, and it was five ninety. Five ninety nine, like five thousand ninety cents. That's what you mean? Nah. Hold on, sister. Stop it. My Dyson. Girl, that's it. Now look at mine. Now mine costs more than yours. Let me see yours. Let me see your own. Let me see. Now look at mine. Oh, I can't see it. Mine was five ninety. Go to Lowe's. Go to Lowe's. Go to Lowe's and type in that air conditioner, bitch. Not air conditioner. We, I, I have an air purifier. That's not no air conditioner. It That's don't the air matter, bitch. I got my air and I need my air when I need my air. That's what that's, that's what you got, sister. <laughs> that's what you got. No, I don't. Go to Lowe's. Go to Lowe's. Bitch, I got our Lowe's. I'm pretty sure I'm motherfucking Prince or I'm Ben Nan. Won't you walk out with it? I tried to steal, bitch. It was from uh, 
I said, oh, no, this ain't me. I got to be a frog, girl. I can't do this stealing, girl. I can't. I'm not. They said, put it in my stomach. No, girl. I can't put it in my stomach, girl. That's what I want my dick said. <laughs> Girl, this don't do this, man. This guy's still dripping, girl. Girl, father, girl. Girl, just oh, girl. Throw the whole, throw the whole factory away. Girl, this is everything. So who's pussy? Did you? You got somebody else pussy? I got my mother. That's like your own pussy. No, I'm saying like they, they put somebody else pussy on you. Now they cut me and tucked me and robbed me. Girl, I want to Girl, I want. Girl, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking, did they keep my? What did they do? do what did they do with my? With my sperm? You think they be keeping your sperm? I was thinking that. Yep. That's what I've been thinking. Did they? Did they keep my sperm? To do what with it? Like, keep it for what? Girl, like to go have babies and stuff with people. Oh, so you have a little... So in Bangkok, you got a lot of little savannas running around. You said what? So you have... In Bangkok, you got a lot of little savannas running around. Girl, that's what I was thinking, bitch. I've been Sam, thinking... I've been thinking... I, and I've been having, like, some weird-ass dreams with this. Your hormones like, fucking like weird dreams. Like what? Just like some weird shit be going on now. What you be dreaming? You pretty and stuff. Oh, that girl. <laughs> you that, say I you weird. My, that I have a C-section. But you can't. You can't have children, right? Hey, girl, I had a dream. I already had a dream, girl. Like I thought the pussy, like girl, like it, it, like, like open. Girl, and I just like, I don't know, it's like mentally fucked up in the, I'm like mentally fucked up in the head now. Yeah. Your hormones are better, that's all. Do you ever dream and about, I, like, and I be uh, having so many hot flashes now. Do you ever dream about going back to your home planet? <laughs> 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 no, I'm for real. You ever, you ever move my car like back to, you know, <laughs> your... Hi, I'm supposed to stop messing with the pussy and I got to keep her, I got to keep her wiping. I'm not using my motherfucking hands. You bitches always <laughs> talk about which I, y'all wipe y'all pussy with baby wipe. Y'all, you, you bitch, I know now one of you all do to use gloves and your pussy every time you go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Y'all so fucking stupid. Bitch, this is a bitch. I know what I'm doing. I know what my doctor told me to do. Bitch, I'm not touching my pussy with my hand. Do you get wet? Does it get wet? It get wet, yeah. Like, if you see somebody that's fine, do you get hot? Like, low, do you fine? Huh? Like, if you see something, like, I don't what know. What do I need glass for? I'm not doing nothing to even use gloves. When I need gloves to do something, I use gloves. But I'm not using, I don't need gloves. So when I get in the shower and clean it, I'm going to put on some gloves. When I go piss, I'm going to put on some gloves. When I do this, I'm going to put on, bitch, I know when to put on gloves and when not to put on gloves, girl. I have gloves. I have pads. I have gauze. I have all that, bitch. I know when to use them and when to not to use them. Girl, I know the rock, I know the white front of the bag, but I can't wipe. Yeah, I don't understand. I can't do all that right now. All I can do is pad. Pad, I can't wipe. I have stitches. If I wipe, bitch, I'm going to wipe the stitches out. Bitch, that's why every time, every time I use the bathroom, they don't want me to wipe. They want me to wash. I'm sure y'all pregnant people, y'all bitches that have been pregnant before, you do not need that motherfucking gloves for none of nothing. Bitch, what am I using gloves for? You act like I'm touching my pussy. I'm not touching my pussy. I, don't, I, I haven't touched it with my hand, not once. Do you want to? Huh? I'm gonna do touch it when, I, when it, it's healed enough. Do you 
Are you happy with this? Huh? Are you happy with this? I'm getting happy. That's what I'm I'm getting there. I got to get it mentally. That's what are you yeah, seeing? Girl. Are you, yeah. Are you seeing are you seeing somebody that's psychologically that's helping you with this? Huh? Are you talking to like a psychologist or psychiatrist or something like with this? Yeah. I, I'm for I, I've been feeling like suicidal when I first got it. Yeah, so and then, and then I did with saline water. You know, our after pussy, I got y'all got to stand, understand our pussy is way different than y'all pussy. We have to do different. Y'all don't have to fuck y'all stuff every day, do you? So am I fucking myself every day? Do you need to go fuck yourself every day? No, you don't. We have two different pussies. I don't have ovaries. I don't have a pH balance. I don't have nothing, none of that. That y'all have. We have two different pussies. My pussy was built. Your pussy was natural. Organic, yeah. Yeah, girl. We all Listen. have different. Y'all can't tell me how to work my pussy, and I can't tell you how to work your pussy. Everybody got a different pussy. Everybody got different color, different look. Every pussy, if I look at some of y'all pussy, have y'all pussies ain't even good. Yeah, so you dilate. Do y'all dilate every day? So you dilate every day? No, y'all don't. Tell me how you dilate it. Since you want to tell me to wear gloves and shit, tell me how you dilate. Did you have to go through a psychological screening before this, outside the country? I had to do it. I went here for three years. So listen. I swear to God, Savannah, when I got out of prison, I needed, I, I saw a psychiatrist for two years, at least on a monthly interview. Like, I really was going, at first I was going every two, every week, really, then two weeks, then every month. After now, I only go like every, every I'll go every three months or six months or when I need them. But I, so, but at my first two years, my, like, if, if I wasn't doing that, I probably would have killed myself. I swear to God. And that's like, that's like when I came back. The other day, I had, like, a real, real, I was just, like, I was driving home, and I had, like, a breakdown, and I, like, I had to question myself, you know, because I, I, I didn't think, you know, I didn't think God would ever approve of what I did, and that's what I was thinking, like, what the fuck did I do to myself, you know, it was, like, and then it's like, you know, you on this internet and shit, and, you know, we get these black clap, we get these big platforms, and then people want us to look a certain way or act a certain way, and we feel blown. We feel like, you know, it's like our body don't belong to us anymore, and that's how I felt like my body didn't belong to me, because I put it out there like, oh, the pussy on the way, the pussy on the way. And you know, everybody always like, bitch, I put these in on the way and this and that. And I felt like, bitch, I need it to go get it so they can stop saying the pussy is on the way. And I don't know if I made the right decision. That's what I was thinking. And it's like, and then it's like, like you go get, you know, you go get your body done because um, people talking about your body your face done because people talk about your face and then you keep on doing it so much so much when you don't even look like yourself anymore just to have a platform for the fame and the fortune right let me tell you something um i, I read this story about so i, I didn't understand yeah it's called the gender disorder it's exactly so i read a story one time about um uh, this something similar and it was a young girl in Belize, and she was 13 years old, and she was telling her mom, and she was telling her family, I'm a girl, I'm really a girl, and they were like, no, you're a boy, and she was like, no, I'm a girl, she always about the girl clothes, and they'd be like, stop, that you're a boy, and they, so she's asking, no, I'm a girl, I'm telling you, I'm a girl, and so she said to her mom, mom, what makes me a boy, because I know I'm a girl, and she's like, look, look what you your leg, that makes you a boy, and so this 13-year-old girl went into the bathroom and cut off her penis herself. 
Right. And and, and, and died because but that, her mind. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll keep on going. Go ahead. Her mind told her she was the girl, and so you we don't know what your mind tells you. But we know that you, so so as human beings, we can't see you how you see. And so, but we know what you're telling us. And so what you see yourself as is more important than what the world sees you as. Right. And I want you to understand that. So I, I, this is what you did because of that. That's, God understands that because that's something, that's no different than getting a tattoo. And and the God I serve, he, he died for you, the sins you've done, the sins you go do, and everything right. in between. He never said anything about, uh, oh, this sin is bigger than that one. This is defamation of the Bible is defamation of the Bible. That's, everybody got a tattoo. That's the case going to hell. We, right. we do think like, God they, not going to accept think, you because of this. Right. Like they think you supposed to have this burn card, like like the AC window. Y'all don't. Y'all probably don't know a reason why I have an AC window. And now people made me feel, feel insecure about having an AC window. Now, bitch, I got to hurry up and go move. To be perfect, these people. If I'm driving a bucket, bitch, I got to go hurry up and jump in a van because you guys, because I, I have a platform. I can't just get on here and just be normal anymore because I done sacrificed and I done sold my soul for fame and shit. So once you do that, bitch, it's like, bitch, you, you, you all fucked up in the end and you mentally fucked up. And the people in the comments don't never know what we're going through. We might be giving them a key key and a calico and reading each other, but at the end of the day, when we leave this live, we do have breakdowns. We do go look in the mirror at ourselves and see what's wrong or where I have to check. Like, you you know, you talk about my face, I talk about your, I, I'm going to go in the mirror and see what I need to do. I feel like I need, I do need a new, I do need to redo my face, but some people don't think I do, and some people I do, and then certain stuff I do because I live myself out loud. My life is not private anymore. If I was a private person, I wouldn't have to deal with these things. You wouldn't have to see these things, and it and, and it hurts so bad that we have to deal with it. I apologize. I sincerely no, do. No, you it, know, it, you're, you're, it, it, no, real. You're a beautiful soul. You're a beautiful spirit. I enjoy you. You're very entertaining. No, I have, entertain you know, is cute, but it's like it's like sometimes you know, you know, it feel like I bully people. It feel like people bully me. You know, of mm-hmm. the way of the way we look. If you can do it's like you can never be perfect. You know, mm-hmm. and then now that I got the pussy. It's still like, oh, bitch, you don't went to go get your dick off, off. You still not the woman. You still a man. You doing this and then that. And then that give me a point like, bitch, I'm going to go crazy. Let me just kill myself. I don't want to live anymore because I'm getting bullied by the comments and by the people. And a lot of these people is going through stuff their self. Because you have to understand money Money and the beautiful things don't make you happy. You have to be happy within yourself. You have to have self-love in yourself. And they don't get that. They, and they're not going to. But the fact that you do shows that you're leaps and bounds ahead of them. Please do this. Because nobody, and social media is, is what it is, but it's definitely not therapy. And I definitely want you to, like, even... It would tear like, you down. Social media would tear you down. Like, it's me. You got to be break. tough for this. You got to be so tough for this. You got to have the strong... You got to have, have the thickest skin and most elastic heart. And, and, and so, and I appreciate you and thank you for sharing the, these parts of your life with us. Because a lot of stuff you say, I'm, I've been on this planet 37 years going on 38. And I didn't know half of the stuff. I've learned so much from you. And I, and I appreciate that you elected to share those parts of your life with us. And that's why I be. went to go have so many surgeries. That's why it's, it's, it's like I, I had so many surgeries because when you transition, oh, if you don't got these type of breath, you a brick. If you don't got this type of face, you a brick. If you don't got these straight white feet, you this and that. And that shit hurts you because you want to be, you want to be seen. You want to be noticed. And when you get on social media, you start building and building this platform and building this platform, but at the same time, your body don't belong to you. Your privacy don't belong to me anymore. 
I, I have to, I have to dress a certain way. My hair got to look a certain way. My makeup got to be a certain color. Everything has to, you know, be perfect. And if you're not perfect, it's like bitch, nobody will never be perfect. And that's why you see all these Instagram models go get extra big old lips, go get big titties, go get their body done. And then after a while, they want all that shit sticking out because it don't fit them. But you guys, the people that we trying to make laugh and the people that we give y'all content, y'all make us feel like nothing. Wow, that's so powerful. I don't, I, the internet that made me feel low a lot of times. It made me feel like giving it up, and a lot of, a lot of times, bitch. It made me feel like, like, like my titties is like, bitch. They like, oh, you got their water. They, so you know how they be like, you got, bitch. You put to go get that semen in them hard titties. Well, bitch, when we lay on the table, we don't, girl. We see the pictures of the result. That everybody don't come out the same, you know. We don't all go to, with the surgery. You could you could get a full surgery and pay all this money, but you still don't look how you want to look. And then you keep on going and keep on going, then until you fuck yourself up. Right. So, so you said a lot. You did say a lot here. Yeah, um, and, and then it's like, and then it's like, I felt like. I kept on getting counseled and counseled and counseled because I wasn't ready. And, you know, I went behind, like, because, you know, I was going to get some, uh, they were going to pay for it at first. And they kept on counseling me, getting counseled with me, and I guess, and then, like, a lot of friends and a lot of family members like, bitch, don't do that, don't do that. And it was a sign for me not to do it. And, bitch, I even, like, the day before I flew out, I even got stuck in a fucking elevator for like two hours where I had to get took out of the elevator by the um the, um, the um, fire department and I got I had all that money and I used the money to go do it myself and I don't think I should have used that money I should have invested in something else I don't think I should have used my money to do that but I did it now I have to live with it and I have to deal with it and you have to look at it that you know when you take your hormones and you're transitioning and you don't have you don't have the support system and you feel like nothing you know you feel like nothing bitch you don't a lot of us come from nothing bitch I came from staying in a project my family not accepted me me you know it was a reason why I was on drugs because the drugs took the pain away from me. It it, it, it it was like a blackout. I didn't see nothing when I was high. I didn't give a fuck about anything when I was high. And as I and as I haven't smoked weed and smoked weed in fourteen days or did coke in a while, it's a whole different vision. It's a whole different high now. And people don't understand that. Why I, I was doing coke and stuff because I was going through life. I was I was trying to find myself and I had so many insecurities. I didn't have confidence in myself. A lot I didn't I didn't love myself. You know, I love I love other people that didn't even love me. And, you know, I didn't, I'm just finally getting it back to love myself and know my worth and who I am. Sister, you are a smart, entertaining, beautiful spirit. You are, a, a, and, and, and you are a beautiful person outside. You're a beautiful person inside. You qualify. Don't ever let nobody make you think that you don't. You are very, you are strong. A lot of the stuff that you had to endure, nobody could. A lot of stuff that you uh, have decided to do as far as be who you are and the links we went to to do that, that's a, that's a fight in itself. That's a victory. That's a victory and a testimony. And so don't ever, and for no two seconds, let anybody make you think that you don't qualify. You are a wonderful, smart, very smart. I don't know if people don't say smart, entertaining, intellectual. You know, and we could keep, keep we laughing, we fussing and, 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 and read each other and it's cool, but... It's, it's, it's beyond that because you definitely you have something special. Some and type like of... people don't know, I used to like 
Bitch, I used to cut on myself every day. I like, bitch, look, when I, I cut, I used to slice myself, cut on myself. <laughs> bitch, just cut. I just used to get the knife and bitch, I got all type of wounds. Look, bitch, I used to cut on myself that. and try to kill myself, bitch. But you know, bitch, I used to cut <laughs> myself boots. Oh, we, we need you here. That's, that's and the reason I guess you God didn't want me to die. I got all these black bitch. You don't know who you touching. You don't know who you touching. And let me say you stuff. I swear to God. I swear to Savannah. I, when I was in, listen, I was about to go get secondhand furniture for my house. When I moved in, I, I, I moved in. I didn't, I'm not going to lie to you. I, the, the, money to move, the money to buy the house was there, but not the money to furnish it. Right. And somebody DM me and said, come to rooms to go. I said, I came over there. I went over there. I just said, listen, I'm the manager here. But I was, she said, I'm not going to say what she was going through her life. That's not my place. And because people start to try to figure out who she is. But she said, I watch you. And every time I come in there, I know I'm going to get a land. I know whatever I'm going through, I'm going to forget about it. And she said, pick. She said, I got this, this green. She said, pick out your rug. I said, that, I, I, I said that one there. And would you believe this woman delivered this to my house for zero cost? Zero. Not a penny. I didn't pay not one penny. And this woman sent it to me. So you so give it to me. So I said it to say, and I don't know her from Adam. She just come on there. She'll never say nothing alive. She just come and get her little lamb. Mm-hmm. And she said this got her through some things that she was going through. So you never know who you you, you giving. You say that you, he wants you here. He needs you here because you don't know who life is. You don't know who life is saving. How many times people have come on alive and say, oh, y'all made me laugh. I forgot whatever was in me. You right. saving lives. You important. We need you. We need you here. We need you well. We need you strong. We need that. We need that. We here for you. And so even though the laughing kiki, the haters going, and I, I wish I could stop that and just turn it off. But when, when that woman touched me, not because of what she did for me, but she touched me to know that she w- went through something and that I was there for her. That kid, that, that convicted my spirit. Like, man, I can't even stop what I'm doing. That. Even if I won't stop. So you can't stop because we need you. When I need to laugh, when I'm going through something, I'm going to turn on you and laugh at you, busting that Shamal stuff. I'm going to do that. And so we, I need you. Yeah, Everybody for real. Like, like, uh, like appreciate like, it for real. That's some real ass shit. It hurts because it's all a key, but I know he's going through something personal in his life. You know, we might read each other, but I really genuinely like that. I really genuinely like Shamar. Right. Yeah, I know, I know that. We all, I think everybody else too. But people don't understand everybody yeah. thinks. Because his body is cricket and dancing, and we don't know what he been through, you know? Girl. And then, you. and then another thing is, like, y'all, wor- y'all worship so many celebrities, yeah. and y'all see these stuff on Love and Hip Hop and all that, these fancy cars and fancy houses. That shit don't even belong to them, you know? It's just all like yeah. act. And y'all... And y'all put other people down for you know for them, bitch. It's, uh, and, and it's like, yeah, yeah. You qualify. Fuck what they do, and fuck them fake ass celebrities that's doing this and that. I need you to do one thing, man. I want you to. I just want to make sure go to your if 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 you. I'm a um listen. Go to make sure you go to them. Don't and don't feel no type of way because I go to. Make sure you never miss one of your psychological. Like a psychological. I know because oh, I, I, like when, um, like I said, after when I came back, I was, I was driving, I was driving, and then I just started, tears just started coming down my eyes, and I was like, I don't want to live no more. I don't want to be here no more. I don't want, I don't want the thing no more. I don't want the platform no more. I didn't want the shit no more. I got to a point where I put that bad energy in the universe, you know? And then I after that I got on I got on live. I think I got on bingo and the lady was coming to tell me like I think um Patty was coming and she was like, go watch the secret and you can understand more about life and listen to some gospel and then I went to watch watch the secret on YouTube or in Amazon. I, I mean um and that place I went to watch the secret and it made me feel much better about myself. You know? Mm-hmm. And people don't understand that I'm mentally ill, <laughs> um, bipolar, schizophrenic and everything above. But I try not to show that because I know 
lot of, a lot of people is going through something personally, and I'm here to make them laugh at all of them. At the same time, I'm hurt inside as well. And I just know how to keep a smile on my face. And, but it, it, it hurts because you fall up and cry and tear yourself down. Yeah. You like got to tear yourself down a little bit. You got a lot going for yourself. And you and we 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 we, we really we waiting we waiting for you to bounce back, girl. You gotta who else gonna tell us how that dick feel when you first get it, girl? We need to know all this stuff. This is the stuff we need to know. We need you. We need your smiles. We need your help. And so definitely, however you was feeling, put them feelings to the side. Go talk to somebody professional. Like we can listen to you, and we can tell you anything. But guess what? The the professional people know what they're talking about. We don't necessarily know. Or understand, understand completely what, what you're going through. Right. Because we never went And we nobody went knows this. that I go to therapists. I go to therapists every second night. And nobody knows that I go talk to somebody to live. You know, I have to speak, I have to talk to somebody to make me feel good about myself to not give up. You know, because it's been plenty of times I'd be like, bitch, like my mama don't give a fuck. Nobody accept me. What the fuck am I here for? You know? And then you get, and then you get people like you and our supporters and our believers that you know keep us strong. People loving us that we don't even know and making us feel good about ourselves. Cause deep down, you know, we hurting inside as well. So how do your mama? Your mom? You see, your mama is not. A, is not a, I ain't even tell my mama oh. I had a sex thing. Child, they was mad. They um, she, they was mad when I changed my name. So, girl, I know when they hear about this girl, but I'm sure they already know. I'm sure the project talks, so I'm sure that it was my daddy and my mom know. And then, like, and then, like, when I went to my granny house, my uncle and them was like, oh, oh, hell no, like, you know, they was, and that shit was like her book, cause my uncle was like, oh no, baby. Uh, y'all name is still, y'all know, y'all name is still Sunny Boy. You, I don't, I don't approve of this shit. I still love it, but I don't approve of it. But I'm like, God, you love me, but you, you know, I, you, you know, a lot of people don't approve of shit. And that makes you run away. And that's why when I was 16 and my parents found out I was gay and all that, I, I, I hid it and never returned. Because I didn't feel wanted, I didn't feel loved, you know. And it's crazy that a lot of people don't love you because of your gender, and they don't know what happened or what, why, what caused the reason, you know. And then you know, I was the, you know, I was molested and shit. And I never. It took me a long time to speak to my mom about it. After I got over the situation, because when I was molested, I used to I used to like the end of course and everything, so I never said anything. Mm-hmm. And that that followed with me for a long, long time. Everybody thought I was just some fishy or on this, you know. My dad, my mom is the big home girl, and I'm supposed to be this hard, but all the time, bitch, I was hurting inside at a young age. Wow. Dang. Dang, you have a lot to deal with, baby. As far as this, this you don't let this consume you, please. You tell your counselor you need to talk every two weeks, girl. I used to go every two weeks, girl. I used to, I I was always there. listen to that song outside of the storm. But that's why I, you know, I really don't talk to nobody. I try to give myself yeah. to God more. No. And listen to my gossip, oh, listen shit. to my worships, and... I'm know, sorry, y'all, if y'all hear noise in the back. That was me biting my nails off. Down, it's 